Hello everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today we're going to talk about bees. The world is abuzz about bees. Bees in Farm Sim 22 serve a few different purposes, but for the most part, they are drop and forget. You don't need to provide them any sort of water. You don't need to provide them any sort of food. You just need to give them a little bit of space and there you go. Now, bees serve a couple of different purposes. The first purpose is to produce honey. And with the honey, we can take that and sell it at various sell points. Or if we happen to own the cereal factory, which is a base FS-22 production element, we can take the honey down to the cereal factory and that's gonna be used in the production of cornflakes, basically. Now, the other aspect of bees is that they will provide you with a yield bonus on select crops. So in fact, they will provide you a small yield bonus, somewhere between three to 5% is what I am hearing folks tell me, with sunflowers, canola, and potatoes. Those are three flowering crops. So therefore the bees will pollinate those crops and as a result of the pollination, you will get a little bit of a yield bonus on those crops. Now, you don't need those crops in order for these bees to produce honey. For bees to produce honey, all you have to do is put down a bee area, put down a honey spawn trigger, and let time do its thing. In the base game, there are five different sizes of bee areas. We have the large bee area here. And do note, down here in the bottom information screen, it says range 150 meters. That is not the range to the pallet. That is the range that the bees will fly to seek out sunflowers, canola, or potatoes to pollinate and therefore provide a greater yield. Then we have the slightly smaller, I'm gonna call this the medium size building. It has a range of 100 meters. So the bees will travel 100 meters out to find the fields that they need to pollinate. We have an elongated beehive that will range 75 meters. We have a four stack of hives that will range 50 meters and, well, I guess you've bet it, the small stack here, which has a shortest range of all, of 25 meters. So you really need to put the small stack really close to potato, sunflower, or canola fields to get the yield bonus. And the yield bonus isn't huge. From what I've been told in folks that have watched videos of folks that have done the testing, I'm told they're seeing anywhere between three to 5% yield increases on fields that are adjacent to the hives. So I would say that is really the secondary aspect of bees. The primary aspect, in my opinion, is gonna be for the honey because money is in the honey. All right, let's go take a look. Prices screen, honey, right now, on easy mode, we're seeing prices anywhere between $2,800 and $3,800 per thousand liters for honey. It's pretty good income for the fact that all you have to do is put down some of these beehives and put down a honey spawn point. So let's take a look at these in the build mode. So in our build mode, we're gonna go to animals, bees. And we have, from left to right, the single beehive for $1,100. Again, they range 25 meters and 25 meters alone. We have the four stack for $4,400. We have an elongated beehive for $6,600. We have the medium hive for $12,500. And then we have the large hive for $19,000. You place these just like you would anything else, and you can rotate it freely 360 degrees, just like that. And then we have 
the beehive honey pallet, lo pallet location, that is $200. Now there's a caveat. You can only have one of these per farm per map. And you can put that literally anywhere on the map. In fact, for this video and this video's demonstration purposes, I have placed it about as far as I can conceivably place it from the beehive. So we are up here in the northeast corner of the map. Our honey pallet spawn point is in the southwest corner of the map. In fact, we're down here right now. And there is our honey spawn point with a pallet of honey. Let's see right here. We have 120 liters of honey. And we basically are in September. We've gone about 24 hours and we have that much honey. So it's, it's pretty good income. That is kind of the short of it with respect to bees. There's not a lot going on with these guys. And you can put them out anywhere. In fact, one of the reasons why I chose to put them up here is because the bees are in nowhere range of any of the crops for pollination. Sunflowers, you'll see. This is not a sunflower field anywhere. Anywhere close to these bees. Canola. There's not a canola field anywhere as close. Remember, the largest beehive has a has a range of 150 meters. So there's not a single sunflower field anywhere close. Not a single potato field or canola field anywhere close to the beehives. I put them up there for a reason, just to demonstrate that you don't need those crops in range to get the honey. You do need those crops in range in order to get the small yield bonus of those crops. So, for example, here we have a really nice field of sunflowers. This would be a really good place to put those hives or a hive or multiple hives here at the edge of this field in order for it to basically give you the yield bonus over the field. Now, something that I do not know and will probably require somebody to spend, in my opinion, way too much time to figure out is do you get only the yield bonus on, let's say, 150 meters worth of the field? If you place the big hive, do you get the yield bonus on the entire field, assuming that it is within range of the beehive? I don't know. All I know is I'm hearing people say that they're getting yield bonuses or people are reporting yield bonuses in the 3 to 5% range when a beehive is within range of sunflowers, canola, or potatoes. But for me, bees are all about the honey production. We can sell the honey at select sell points or we can use the honey down at the cereal factory for the production of cereal. So guys, I hope that was useful and helpful. If y'all liked the video, please go ahead and toss the like button down. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of bees? Are bees gonna become a staple of your virtual farm in Farming Simulator 22? And until next time, happy farming.